Good morning, happy Wednesday. Uh, I have a couple things to go over with you guys today. I'm gonna focus on our new calendar and some of the differences and then uh, start on a little bit of a math lesson actually. And I promise if you guys stick with me and watch this whole video, I have something really cool to show you at the end and a funny story to go with it. Okay, so first our calendar for today. Let's see if I can remember it off the top of our head. You have four pages of math. It's one page and another page, just the front and back, okay? And I'll tell you what that's focusing on in a minute. And then you're gonna do an iReady lesson or working on iReady for 20 minutes, trying to pass off a lesson. Uh, you're gonna read, try to read for about 30 minutes, okay? Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have noticed if you read for hardly any time, I'm not marking that off as one of your activities for the day. Um, what else? There is a journal for today. And what is the journal? Wednesday, April 29th, that says your journal. Oh, what kind of music do you enjoy? What is your favorite song or your favorite band? My favorite band is the Beatles, and there's a long story that goes behind that, but that's what my mom and I used to always listen to. Okay, uh, and besides that, the one other funny thing for today, I guess, or different thing, is our reading comprehension test. Looks like this. It's called Calling All Chefs. Um, I'm calling it a test, but really that just means I want you to do it on your own. I don't want mom and dad saying, ah, the answer is B. And once you do it, definitely, definitely send me a picture because this is one of the activities that will be going into your grade, okay? So I need anything that says it's a test, I need it turned in. Otherwise, I have no way of putting together grades for this quarter. It's gonna be a mess, okay? All right, so going into our math lesson, I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through a lesson just the way we would in class but real quickly. Okay, so let me flip this around. First, I want you to realize we are gonna be doing three things over the next month. These are our three goals. We're gonna learn how to describe shapes, compare shapes, put them in groups, telling how they're alike. We're also going to learn about quadrilaterals. How do we uh, know what kind of quadrilateral it is, how do we put it in groups. And we're gonna learn how to divide rectangles into equal parts. Uh, we're gonna be using fractions to do that, so it's important we learned our fractions first. Okay, real quickly, I'm only focusing on the basics here, and there should be another video to help with more. How do the sides and angles help you to name shapes? Well, you can count the sides. You can count the angles. A shape with three sides and three angles like this would be one form of a rectangle. We know a shape with four sides would be a quadrilateral, and we've talked about that in class. There are other ways to describe a shape. Some shapes have sides that are all different lengths. None of these are matching. Some shapes have sides where maybe two of the sides match, but the third side does not. Some shapes have sides that are all the same length, like in this pentagon. And some shapes have opposite sides that match. These are typically called our parallelograms, opposite sides that are matching. Okay, and we can also describe our shapes using their angles. A shape can have all square corners. Those are corners that look like they could make a square, okay? They're perfectly, we call it perpendicular like an L. Some shapes can have some square corners, but some they're not. For example, one square corner here, a perfect L. This, that doesn't look like so much of an L, does it? Too much of an angle, okay? 
And of course we can have shapes like this hexagon, which doesn't have any square corners. All of them are a little bit too wide. All right, I know that's quick. I'm also, uh, flip it back here. I'm also going to attach a video from our I Ready lessons. So it should be something familiar like we would do in school. And you don't have to watch the whole thing, but it's if it's helpful, great, I want you to have it. And I'll be attaching a couple other helpful links down at the bottom of today's post. I will also put um, correction pages down at the bottom for parents. If parents want to open those up and just check your work that way, that's fine with me. Students, try it on your own first, okay? All right, I think that's all the big stuff. So, Here's, here's the surprise. I'll flip it over here. And I'll share the story. If you can't tell, I've got five little kittens here. That's right, one, two, three, four, five. I don't even know where the fifth one is. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> and um, we were watching a movie together as a family the other day. And right in the middle of the movie, I go, Avi, why are you pulling the cat's tail? Because the cat let out this mean old meow. And Avi said, I, I didn't, I didn't pull her tail. I don't know what she's doing. And all of a sudden, out comes the first kitten. We kind of had a feeling she was going to be having kittens and we're pretty excited about that. We'll have to take care of some things here soon. But uh, here are the five kitties. These are kittens that are two days old and you can see what size they are, how tiny they are. I'll show you guys something real cool. When you flip them over, oh, I know, sweetie. Right there, you see that thing coming out of his tummy, her tummy? That's the umbilical cord. So that's where they would have been kind of connected to the mama cat and getting all their food and nutrients. This one here is going to be named Vixie, and that's going to be Metzli's pet. She has somehow convinced us. All right. So with that, have a great Wednesday. Turn in your work. Um, your math practice pages right here. <laughs> they look like this from the book. You do not have to send me pictures. You can, and I'm fine with that. Or you can send me a very specific message that says, I did page 349, 350, 351, 352. I don't want you to just say, I did all the math today because I don't know if you're following the calendar or if that's accurate but you don't have to send pictures. You can tell me I did these exact pages and I will mark those off. Um, that's specifically because this is practice and uh, I will have tests that I score you guys on later. All right, have a great day, bye.